we have the short length to be 19 inches i'll be adding two inches to that to make 21 inches one and a half inch to hem the short and half an inch to attach the band at the waist draw a line across this fabric is placed on fold by the thigh measurement and here the thigh is 32 inches divide the thigh by two and add two inches seam allowance to that so i folded this by 18 inches mark the crotch depth by dividing the hip measurement by four the hip is 48 inches and divided by four you have 12 inches mark same 12 inches from the two inches border line to create the center front and rule a line across go upward by two inches from the crotch line this creates your hip line Confirm the thigh measurement of 16 inches again and mark your waistline from the center front. The waist is 40 divided by 4 and you have 10 inches. Add 2 inches seam allowance to that. On the hip line, we confirm the hip measurement to be 12 plus 2 inches seam allowance and connect to the waistline. At the hem of the short from the 2 inches border line, go inward by 1 inch. From that point, you take your round knee measurement and that's 23 divided by 2 and you mark the resulting answer on the side again mark 2 inches seam allowance and connect from the hip line down to the hem connect the inseam from the crotch line to the hem and come out by 0.25 on the hip line to create the curve at the center front on the waistline come down by 1 inch on the center front and connect that to the side seam bend in one and half inch seam allowance intended to hem the shorts before going ahead to cut the sides of the shorts and every other area place another fabric on folds to cut the back pattern by the width of the front piece and an additional two inches remember the waist of the front piece is not straight straighten out the waist of the back piece at the center back, go upward by 2 inches and connect that to the side seam. At the crotch line for the back piece, come out by 2 inches. Here is why we added an additional 2 inches when placing the fabric on fold. Here I am creating a marking to highlight the center back. From the center back line, go inward by 1 inch. Lift up the front piece to create the curve for the back crotch area. Ensure to make the curve at the center back a slight one. It shouldn't be as curvy as that of the front. This one inch line is the new center back and from there you take the waist measurement which is 10 plus one inch for the dart allowance at the back and two inches seam allowance. Extend the waistline and connect to the hip area. Mark 1 inch from the inseam of the front piece to create that of the back. Mark 1 inch from the side seam of the front to create that of the back and connect all the way down to the hem. Now we can go ahead to cut the back pattern. Place the front piece only together to cut the pocket area. Ensure to mark out the 2 inches seam allowance before marking the pocket width of 3 inches and the pocket depth of six inches. Here I am highlighting the two inches seam allowance area before going ahead to cut out the pockets. Place a fabric of 17 inches to 19 inches on fold with a length of 11 inches and place it on fold again. This gives two pockets. Come in with the cutout of the pocket and cut out the side seam first. Open up the pockets, lay flat the fabric and come in with the cutout again to cut out the main pocket shape. Moving on to sewing, place the center back piece together and sew the crotch area by half an inch. Repeat the same process on the center front crotch area. Place the front piece on the back piece, matching up the crotch and sewing down the inseams by half an inch. Moving on to connect the pocket, place the shorts on the pocket and sew the curve by half an inch. Notch around the pocket curve to help it well relaxed. Flip the pocket to the wrong side and place it to take its form. 
Secure the hem of the pocket by sewing it down by half an inch, placing wrong side on wrong side. Sew it down as shown and turn the pocket inside out. Tuck the pocket in. Secure the top area of the pocket by half an inch and do the same at the side of the pocket just to keep it in place. Repeat the same process on the other side of the pocket area. We proceed to take the dart of the back piece. From the center back line, go in by 5 inches. The dart length is 6 inches. From the 5 inches point, mark 1 inch. Place those markings on fold. This makes your dart half an inch on both sides. Align the waistline. Ensure the dart area is laying flat. You can mark 6 inches again on this part, which is your dart length just to be sure then go ahead to sew your dart by half an inch closing in when you get to your six inches marking repeat the same dart intake on the other side of the back piece we go ahead now to place the front piece on the back piece to take the side shaping from the waistline i'll come down by one and a half inch just to leave that space for attaching the band then sew down the side seam from that point by one inch all the way to the hem repeat the same process on the other side seam at the hem of the shorts go upward by three inches fold in half an inch and fold in one inch again matching up with the three inches mark this is a hemming allowance and go ahead to hem the shorts do the same on all four sides when hemming is done the ends of the side seams should be closed attach the waistband by placing the good side on the wrong side of the shorts sew it down by half an inch lay the band flat bend in half an inch and fold it down closing the seam allowance created initially and top stitch very close to the edge all the way down repeat the same process attaching the band on the back piece take down the exact waist measurement the remaining seam allowance divide it into two sharing it on both sides of the waistband connect this to the hip you should use a loose stitch when sewing the side seam on the left side to insert the zipper and the shirt is ready do like, share and subscribe. Thank you.